13. And on Monday, I had classes as usual, and it was really just a productive day. I got a lot of work done that I needed to get done, which was a definite good thing. And then later on, I had an audition for a film scene for someone's class that they needed to film a scene for. Uh, and it was a scene from Inside Out, so I auditioned for the role of Joy, and that was fun. Uh, the walk, I had to walk pretty far to get to where the auditions was. It was still on campus, but it was like the far end of campus. But that went well. I just went to the scene, and they said that I'd keep me posted about it. So, you know, best of luck for that, but it was so much fun. I went on over, and I was like, you know what? I'm in the mood for more cycling. So I went back to do that. And one of the TVs had on a episode of Modern Family, which I got so excited for because I haven't seen that show in a while. It's not on Netflix, but it should be. So I was like, all right, cool, I can watch this. And I love that show. And I went, and none of the sound channels on the machines worked. I swapped machines just so I could listen, and I couldn't. So I had to read subtitles the whole time through, which still worked, but you know, when you're better to hear than read the subtitles for a show, but it was, you yeah, know, it, it worked. It, it, it. Later on that night there was another Roar Acting Workshop, which was pretty cool, and it was more about, you know, going through auditions, whether it's for the uh, theater, commercial, you know, the difference, and all that good stuff. And after that I literally just went back and went to sleep because those workshops are later in the night, so I thought, alright, it's been a long Monday, I'm going to sleep. Tuesday rolls around, I had radio, I took a quick little nap, and then I was on my way to the spring registration because you have to meet with your advisor so they can lift the hold so that when your actual spring registration date and time comes up, you can go and select your classes because it's all on yourself, which is unbelievably terrifying, but you know, I'll, I'll manage. So anyway, I went talked to her and it was about like figuring out okay you know what classes you want to take and all that so it helped and now I am set for that and after I went I was going to go to work but first I had saw something at the butch store that I wanted to get but I went to go see if it was still there and it wasn't it was one of those weird seasonal items that are only out until they sell out it, it sold out apparently so that was sad so I just went straight to work after that for production 198 class that week, I needed to meet with the production dis production yeah the production director. So I did that and made sure everything was going well, and I knew what was going to happen because I needed to know. And then later on, I just came back and did some more filming. So yeah, that's that's why I did on Tuesday. On Wednesday, I slept it until 10:30, which was a great achievement of life. And for breakfast, I went on over and I grabbed. A, it's it's my go-to Jamba juice because there's a Jamba on campus which is so good and it, I had a Resmataz with no bananas. So I'm not a huge banana person. But anyway, and I went to Jamba for that. I had my class which, you know, isn't until 12.40 starting. I have three classes on Wednesday but they start later so that's how I could sleep in on those days. After that, I went, you know, I wanted extra time to sleep in and then make it to class and everything so that after my actual class I had a breakfast burrito but it's called the Nooner so you could be eating that and it's and it was really good and then I had another class but I was so outrageously tired that by the end of that day my last class on Wednesday goes until 7 and that's for production so after that I literally just stayed back and fell asleep. Day rolls around, I had work, I had classes and I got a lot of stuff done basically before because my actual class isn't until I think 1.10 on Thursdays so you know I had like time to work on things and get stuff done which is really really good because being productive it's getting down to the end of the semester so it was super helpful to be able to get all that stuff just done whether it was an essay or other homework or just whatever I needed to get done I got done. And then later on at 8 p.m. that night, there was an improv show that I went to with the group that I am a part of. I was not in that particular show, but it was still cool to be there and support my friends, and it was a great time. And after that, that was that went pretty late, so I just went back in and went to sleep. As you probably know if you've seen my last videos, on Friday mornings 
at 9 until like 11.40 I believe. It is my intro to stream media class and we just talk about how TV works and shapes and like how it puts it to- it's hard to explain but it's a really really great class and I probably explained it better in a past video. Anyway, uh, for the TV shows that we watched that particular day, we got to see an episode of The Simpsons, Modern Family, which I was like, oh, I haven't seen either of those shows in a while. Except for subtitles. And it was it was good. And we watched two episodes and they're holiday themed episodes for all of them. And we saw two for Spongebob, which was pretty fun because it's like, oh, Spongebob classics. And it was, it was a good time. And also a the Christmas episode for Charlie Brown, which was also really cool. So yeah, that was basically what I did in that class that day. Uh, later on, I had uh, gone with the Swing Dancing Club here on campus and we went to Santa Barbara for an event and the band that was there in Santa Barbara was Plus Dog Found and it was so much fun and it was just like, at first there was like a little lesson going on and then you show up and Santa Barbara seems really pretty. It was nighttime so it was dark and I couldn't really look around and see everything but it seemed really nice. It was actually peace and quiet on that street so it was pretty you know, different from LA. I was like, oh yeah, peace and quiet at night time. That's what this is like. But it was fun and you know, you just go around and there's a whole bunch of different people. You gotta dance with everyone. It was just such a great event and so much fun. And then afterwards we decided to go to In-N-Out. And it is amazing how many people actually go to In-N-Out at like 1.30 in the morning. Like, one in the morning. You, you, I usually sleep through that time. And I, I don't, I don't know. I had french fries. It was good. I couldn't really commit to a lot of food at that time just because of the fact that I'm not used to eating at that time. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to settle on the french fries right now. But it was good. And I also had a gift card through the school for filling out a survey that I got. So it was, it was perfect. It was a perfect. It used to be like, I have an in and out gift card. This is happening. And it was so good, but the line was so long. and. It was, it was interesting. And then all the way back, which was like two and a half hours, I was like half asleep and half awake, but it was, it was just kind of a long ride back. And I got back at about, mm, I want to say it was like two. Yeah, we got back around 2.30 and I decided, you know what, I'm just going to take a shower tomorrow. It's not even like, I don't even have classes. It's a Friday night. I'm just going to go and I quickly changed, I took off my makeup, I cleaned my face, I brushed my teeth and I went to bed. So I got to sleep by 3 and then all of a sudden at 4, I don't remember much of this but my roommate wakes me up and then there's this alarm going off. So yeah, I don't think, there wasn't a real fire I don't believe, it was one reason or another the fire alarm went off. And I probably would have slept through that if it wasn't for the fact that she woke me up, to be honest. But anyway, we went outside and everyone was out there and we're just like pretty cold because I don't even remember how I left the room, but somehow when I got out there I realized I had my glasses on, I had my phone with my card in it, and I had a pillow with me. So, and, I, and, and shoes. Like, I, I put on my flip flops, but. I was just like, wow, I cannot believe um, all the days for this to be happening. Why is it tonight? <laughs> and yeah, that was interesting, but it didn't last too long. It was probably like 10, 15 minutes total. And then I just came back, fell right back to sleep, and then got up the next morning for an all new adventure. Which brings us to Saturday where I had to wake up for, uh, when did I wake up? I had to be on set for a shoot at 10 in the morning. So I got up about, 8.30. I mean, the shoot's like really far on the other side of campus too, so I got up at 8.30 and I just got ready and I did my makeup and my hair and everything, but I was just wearing cozy things and I went and I had a bagel that I kept in the room because nowhere was open for food yet, and then I went to Jamba and I got myself a fun little morning smoothie, which is so refreshing, you guys. If you have a Jamba or any smoothie in the morning, it's so good. I'm just... Mm -hmm. So good. So yeah, and I just walked over to the other far side of campus, far, far, like the furthest side of campus, and I went to the shoot, which was really fun because it was for my friend's uh, final production 200 project, and it was so cool, and it was so much fun. It was the party on top of Mount Olympus, 
I can't say much about it right now just because I want to keep things a surprise for when the final product turns out so you guys can see it and when it does I will leave a link so you can go and check that out but of course it was so much fun and I got uh, a really pretty costume that was uh, set up and my character was Cleo and it was basically all the gods of Mount Olympus like all the Olympian gods go to war and then the ones left behind have a party and it's it, it's so fun and it was so exciting and we actually had the script it was translated into ancient Greek which was cool because I got to try to speak ancient Greek for a film and that was interesting but it was hard to get the lines at first but I think I managed and it was fun and yes my gorgeous gorgeous dress it was from the Sony warehouse for their props and such which is so cool it's in the evening gown section and it's like oh okay so this is yours and I'm just like may I keep like it was it was so pretty and it was so much fun it's such a beautiful area and it was an all-day shoot which was really fun and I, I knew several of the other people who are also there and it was just a really good time and after that I came back I took like literally a 20 minute nap because I was so tired from everything from by literal like five hours of sleep not even that I actually had so I went on over and I took a little, quick little nap and then I got ready for the next shoe at five and that was it was from five until it's supposed to be five until ten but we wrapped at nine which was super convenient because I planned on leaving around that time anyway but it worked out really really well because it was the scene for Inside Out which I thought I wouldn't be able to get because the shoot day was originally going to be on that Friday and I was going to be at Santa Barbara so I was like oh I'm sorry I really really can't but then as it turns out it all worked out anyway because then they had their actual shoot on Saturday instead and they still desperately needed someone so I'm like okay I'm so tired but this is a great opportunity so I got to be Joy from Inside Out for a live filmed version of the scene and it was so much fun it was so cool and we filled like the entire classroom that we were filming in with newspapers like all over the floor. It was so cool. It was so just, it was a great time. It really was. And I bet this thing's going to turn out great. And yeah, uh, I will share that with you also when that also comes out. And yeah, so that was my night. It brings us to Sunday when I actually could sleep in. I caught up on as much sleep as I possibly could. And then I went to community table, I had some food, which was really good because food is like, okay. All right, I'm starting to get back into my routine. Editing a Roar video, which I did not film. I really have anything to part, but they needed someone to edit it. So I was like, okay, cool, I got this. So I went, you can also see that video here as well. But yes, it was it was pretty cool. It took me a couple hours to just get set up and figure out how I was gonna format it, but it really didn't take that long and it turned out neat. And so I was like, okay, cool, I got this. And it was, it was a nice, peaceful thing to do. And then I came back to the room and I did some editing for LCA. As you guys see how it's it's nicely edited, it takes a while, so I did that as well. And then I met up with some friends, so it was my roommate, and I went to Iggy's, which is the on-campus diner with my friends, which was fun, and I had a breakfast burrito there because I have a weird obsession with breakfast foods, let me tell you, like whether it's cereal, I'm really getting into breakfast burritos a lot. Uh, tater tots are amazing. I French toast wins all, okay? Like, and fruit and all that good stuff. So, yeah, if I have the opportunity to have breakfast food, chances are I will. It's a weird thing about me now that you know. So, yeah. I came back and worked on some editing because that week there was no Once Upon a Time episode, and I was so sad because I love that show. But it was only just like a week off in between, so I was like, okay, I'll make it one week to go. So yeah, and I just went to sleep. I got extra time to catch up on that. And that was my week. So thank you for joining me for week 13. Definitely check back for week 14 soon and all other videos as well. And if you're new to my channel, please, well, gotta subscribe. And I hope you check out the other videos that I have to offer. They're fun and great and I post quite regularly. I do not have a set schedule yet, but you should definitely expect a video too every week. So definitely go and check that out and yeah if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!